to Future 22 J is back at you with another video. To everyone that has admirations on a cop in the Air Jordan 11 DMPs at the end of the year, I have some good news and I have some bad news. But before I let you guys know about it, I want you guys to take the time out to sub up to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also give me a follow on Instagram at Future 22 J is. The good news is your opportunity will be there as long as you put your footwork in. It's going to be plenty of pairs going around to a lot of people. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is the retail price is going up another five dollars. So that means that retail price on the DMPs of 2023 is going to be $230 before tax. Whew, man. In the comment section below, you guys let me know how do you feel about that. But me personally, bro, too. 30 before tax, there's 240. There's gonna be like 247 after tax, bro. Nah, bro, well, to everyone that wants to cop that shoe, just keep that in mind. You're gonna be paying just a little bit more money. If the men's going up, that means that the grade schools and the preschools and the toddlers are going up $5 as well. Now, with the shoes that I have for you guys today, this is going to be in my top 10 cops for 2023. I already know ever since I seen this shoe, I knew for a fact that I had to have it. With the hype around this shoe being at an all-time low now, it just feels so great to just walk in and grab this shoe for retail and sometimes under retail if I got me a coupon or two. So let's get into them. Checking out the box, as you guys can see, we have a very different and a very fire Air Jordan 1 box. It's giving this aesthetic that is fading from black to gray around the entire box. Label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, the colorway is black, fire red, and white. This is a size 12. And the shoe that I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Watch Black. I just feel like that this is the most versatile Air Jordan 1 that has released in a very long time. Oh man, this shoe is fire. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. Starting from the bottom of the shoe, you can see we have an all black outsole. Coming up into the midsole, we have our sale midsole. Sale outsole has been coming off and on on Air Jordan 1s for years. So it's really up to them if we get it or if we don't. Coming up into the best part of the shoe, the suede. Wrapping around the heel, coming down the eyelid, around the mud guard, and on the Nike swoosh, we have a very nice long haired gray suede. Now I must say, the only flaw that this shoe has is the leather that they chose on the mid panel and the toe box. It doesn't have the typical Air Jordan tumble leather that we've grown accustomed to in Air Jordan 1s in the past. I honestly don't think we're gonna get Air Jordan ones like that anymore unless it's a collab. If this shoe is to rock for you, bro, the leather shouldn't matter. What I like about the shoe the most is that on the ankle collar area, we have another set of suede, like a low rugged rough suede. Inside of the ankle collar consists of an all black fabric. Coming up on the tongue, we have polyester tongue with a Nike logo at the top. This shoe comes factory laced with a pair of white laces and they come with a spare pair of black laces as well. But to me, this shoe deserves just a little bit more red. So I got another set of laces that I'm going to try to see how it looks and you guys going to see it on my own foot. This shoe is absolutely fire. It released on April 10th for the retail price of $180. It's not doing anything on the aftermarket whatsoever. I would say go on and get it at retail, especially if you did size 12. This is going to be one of those shoes that you're going to look up and it's going to be $250, $275. When you check out the counterparts of the shoe with the Turbo Grand colorway and the Hyper Royal colorway, and you guys see exactly what these two are doing on the aftermarket. Granted, these two did drop around the time that Air Jordan 1 hype was at an all-time high, but at the same time, you guys know what gray shoes do. I'm not saying go out and grab them today. I'm not saying go out and grab them tomorrow, next week, next month. If you really like this shoe, if you want to cop this shoe for retail or under, have this shoe in your collection before the winter time. This is still a clean shoe to rock in the summer but this screams fall time with me. Gray joggers, gray tech fleas, gray jeans, gray every, everybody is gonna be rocking this shoe in the winter time, bro. So I'm glad to have gotten my pair for retail. That's all I have to say about it. Now in the comment section below, you guys tell me, did you guys include this in your collection to complete the set? This is the most undefeated color blocking on Air Jordan 1s ever in life to me. You can't tell me otherwise. There's none OG. This is the best 
best non OG color blocking in Air Jordan 1 history. There's nothing you guys can say to change my mind. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to sub up to the channel. Once you sub up, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever a video is uploaded. My name is Future22JS, and if you don't know, please know that there's no ceiling to your inner potential. This is my review of the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the wash black colorway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Future22JS. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video, and always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.